Hey guys, Jamie here, keeping it quiet. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. So as you can see, I've got another afternoon, and it's a gorgeous sunny day. Can't see a thing, squinting like mad, so apologies if I'm squinting. Um, but yeah, I've got another, another afternoon free, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start getting the insulation in. I've got to go out and pick up a core drill bit, so I can only get three of the walls done right this second, but uh, by the end of this video, I will have all three, all four walls done, even, and uh, and the hole drilled. So uh, without further ado, let's go and have a look what I'm up to. So, I've just cut the first bit, as you can see there. So uh, that's going to be for the back wall, and uh, get that stuck in there. So I'll snap back to you in a bizzle. Well, that's the first bit in. I've stuck it down with a mixture of CT1 and my Pond MS300. Use that because I had some tubes half empty from the uh, tests I did a month or so ago. So I've stuck that to the wall using that, and that is stuck fast. And as you can see down in that corner, it was a bit of a tight fit, so I've had to give it a little bash just to uh, to get it in but uh, it just goes to show how good my brickwork is look I'm a little bit out though at the top but never mind never mind but yeah no I'm happy with that but as you can see as well the floor from the GRP stuff that I put down the other day has gone off an absolute treat so it's nice and smooth and no bits flaking up or anything like that anymore so it's, it's basically like putting a resin coating uh, over your brickwork to prep it ready for fiberglassing on top of so, uh, yeah that's uh, worked a treat and it still smells lush in here it really does but yeah I will get the next bit cut I'm gonna do under the window and then there is a window frame Yeah, that's going all right. Just got to get a bit now cut out for that side and a bit to go along the top there. And then I'm going to leave that side for today until I can get hold of a uh, 52mm core drill bit. But yeah, you can see, to be honest, I probably could have got away with that there. Um, just cut a little bit off the, uh, off the flange, but... Never mind, I will core drill next to it in there, hopefully. Um, and then see how we go. See how we go. But yeah, so that's that. And uh, I'll get the rest of this insulation done and snap back to you. Right, guys, just really quick, I thought I'd show you how I'm cutting the uh, insulation to get a nice, straight, clean cut. So I've marked my two measurements either side of this board and then I'm just putting a very faint and fine line to make sure it keeps right next to my straight edge as I can and a nice gentle one as well I'm not pushing it down deep because that's where people can go wrong and try and cut through it in one go so I've done that three times just to get a good few mil underneath and then the best way to cut insulation I've found is just raise up one side the reason behind that, when you're still using a straight edge or pushing down on this side, the further you put your knife in to pull back, the more pressure obviously you've got to put to stop the insulation coming this way. And by putting pressure down here, it's tightening itself on the knife and making it very difficult to cut. And that's when you end up with loads of loose bits coming out. Whereas if you, once you've made your initial first cut just raise up this one side and then just repeat what you did the first time just nice and gently not putting hardly any pressure on it at all just letting the sharp knife do the work make sure you're using a sharp knife and then this will probably be the last one one more and there you have it one nice straight cut edge all right, well, and there we have it, guys. Yeah. All done, or at least the sides I can do, and uh, rounded all the top edges off. All ready for 
the fiberglass in as you can see there but yeah all I've got to do now is tape up all the joints and it's all stuck to the wall all quite well so yeah I'll get the joints taped up I have ever so slightly rounded off the window frame as well just to make fiberglassing easier but yeah as you can hear it's now raining blooming typical but uh, yeah at least I've got this bit done while it wasn't raining but I'm undercover under here anyway but yeah so I will snap back to you when I've got a cord drill from somewhere to drill a hole in there ish somewhere uh, going to work out I think where the filter is going to go and then plan where to put the hole and then get the last bit of insulation in so uh, on that note and that note I'll snap back to you in a bizzle and there we have it I was able to borrow a core drill bit from one of the guys from the Peterborough Coy Club cheers Brendan he borrowed it off a builder friend of his but uh, yeah that fits me pipe nicely it used to be that side but it's now that side so uh, that'll do nicely I've just got to get the last bit of insulation cut and in place and then I'll snap back to you there you go the insulation's on so I'm just cutting out the uh, recess for the tank connector uh, inlet to come through find this thingy my jigger uh, so the way I've done it I've pushed it in marked obviously around the outside and then I've cut lots of little slits as you can see there going all the way around and that way it gives you a nice easy way to just pick each one out and then what I'm going to do is give it a sand afterwards to make it nice and smooth because obviously you see it's all bumpy around there but yeah that's uh, I've found a nice easy way to do it doesn't make too much mess uh, I'm sure when sanding it that will probably make a bit of a mess but and that will give me the perfect recess then for this tank connector to sit back in there but, uh, yeah once I've uh, peeled the rest of it off and sanded it down I'll snap back to you again and as they say in French voila so my hole's going all the way through as you can see there um, yeah, it's nice and flush, very nice and flush, so that's a bonus. I've rounded the top edge again on this one like I've done with all the others. A little bit of a sand just to round the edge off, make it easier for fiberglassing. So last job is to get the tape on. Now I've gone a bit OTT and bought a nice expensive uh, reel of tape. You don't really need to use this type of tape, but uh, let me get it out of the sun. Yeah. GT30HT, cold weather adhesive, it's a 30 micron jointing tape suitable for foil faced installations, which is what this is, uh, materials in construction, HVAC, no idea what that means, but it's uh, marine and offshore grade as well, um, UV resistant, not that that matters because it's going to be covered in fiberglass, uh, but operating temperatures minus 35 up to 120 yeah like it's ever going to reach that but yeah so i've got a big old roll of that that should uh, easily do all of this and uh yeah just going to join up all the corners uh, any joint lines so there's a join line there one there one there and you know the rest so i will snap back to you once all the tapes on just really quick guys i know i said ideally you don't really need tape of this quality but i tell you why it's a hell of a lot easier to work with because it comes with a non-sticky paperback side whereas normal aluminium tape is so sticky it curls up and sticks to everything whereas this i can measure it out cut it to size and then peel it and stick it as i go which is actually making the job a lot easier so uh, i'll get the rest of this taped up and I'll show you what it looks like so to show you what i mean by why i'm saying this is easier this piece is now cut to size and it fits perfectly so all I now do put it in rough position and rather than it go in places I don't want it to I can just hold stick peel and get it to go all the way along and then you've got a nice me finish. Yeah, jobs are good. 
And there we have it. All done, ready for fiberglassing. So yeah, all joints are taped up. It's taped to the floor. I've taped the top uh, on the rounded edges, all the corners, all the joints everywhere. So yeah, even the window frame has all been taped up. So yeah, all ready for fiberglassing. Let's have a look. What, what do we look? What are we looking like? Look. Oh, there you go. That is going to be my little grow on. We are looking good. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, as you can see, we're now ready for fiberglassing. Just got to find someone to uh, give me a hand uh, getting that done. So I'm over the moon with how it's turned out so far. Uh, stay tuned for the fiberglassing, and uh, once that's done, I can then double check the measurements for the window, get that measured and ordered. Um, and then get that in. Just had the third lot of uh, nets delivered, uh, the bowl nets. Uh, you may have seen them in a previous video. And if you haven't, go back and check out the video that says new nets. Um, they are £10 each plus £2 shipping to the UK. can post them abroad if you want one abroad, but I'd have to check on the uh, on the shipping for that. But yeah, that's the, that's the third batch of nets that have uh, said third and held up four fingers. Yeah, that's the third batch of uh, nets. The first batch have all been received and everybody's happy with them. Uh, the second batch have been posted today, so hopefully everybody will be happy with them as well. And now I've got another another ten nets uh, ready to ship. So if anybody wants a bowl net to, uh, to keep your fish safe and secure in your bowl, let me know and I'll get one posted out to you. So uh, yeah, on that note guys, thanks all for watching, like the video if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.